Before I open it up to questions from the audience, I have one more question, and it takes us out of the libraries into, into the Adirondacks. Um, I really, um, I, I loved uh, reading in Thoreau these little passages of verse where you are, I, I'm almost, I almost want to say it's a, a kind of your modernist moment in the William Carlos Williams spring and all, everything is fresh and the language is new, naked and, and all. And I and all, and I wondered if um, if if I uh, if we could if you could read a couple little passages so that we can talk about it and uh, let's see it's in singularities, singularities. which I yeah. oh there's a copy yeah. the two passages I had in mind were ones that we were crowing about yesterday um, one is um, the uh, the wonderful um, eating nothing but hominy which is on forty seven just those lines. And the other is the famous, the snow is still here, H-E-A-R. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Do you mind reading those two? Okay, but uh, I want, let me read the first one. Go ahead. Because um, this one, the I just uh, one. For, go on the scout. They say they will go near Swagachi. Um And then I'll read, and you're saying, the, these are all passages from um, the first section of Thoreau. Um, you want eating nothing but a hominy? Yeah, it's okay. such a great... Okay, um, but the one I love is the first one. Um, go on the scout. They say they will go near Swagachi. I have snowshoes and Indian shoes. Idea of my present, not my silence. Surprise is not so much, hurried and tossed about, that I have not had time from the fort, but the snow falling very deep remained a fortnight. Two to view the fort, and get a scalp. Domain of transcendental subjectivity. Etymology, the this, present in the past now. So many thread. Okay, now you want. 47? Just give me that. Sorry, I'm all marked up there, but. Well. She's seeing my margin. To Lake Superior, to view that time, the Shannas and Dalloways. Home, and I hope passage, begun about the middle next, to kittening, eating nothing but hominy, scribbling the ineffable, see only the tracks of rabbit, a mouse nest of grass. The snow is still here, wood and veld all covered with ice seem world anew, only step as surveyor of the wood, only step. Thank you. So, you, you know, I, the reason I mentioned this is your modernist moment is this idea of the world anew, you know, going, going to Lake George, seeing the kitchen crap, and then kitsch and crap, and then, and, <laughs> the then, and then having that experience of winter, overwhelming experience yeah, right. of winter, and then seeing the world anew, and, 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 and then finding that spare language you know, well, you know, how I saw the world anew was, I mean, there I was in this little cabin by the lake, freezing cold. Why did I come here? I'm terrified. Right. And, and uh, didn't the one know anybody thing either. I, well, what, and I didn't, uh, I knew the guy who got me there, you know, to teach in this workshop. But I, the one thing was a tiny little local library. Mm. And in the local library, it was like a one room library was these, this collection they had, you know, proudly of their area of um, this uh, William Johnson who had been an Irishman who'd come to New York and become the great sort of interpreter for the Indians in that area and involved in right. the French and Indian Wars. Right. And the great thing in that, that volume was that they left the old uh, of, his, of his journals and letters from the war, the French and Indian Wars, they'd left the old spelling so that the violence that is in the, pl in the area, and uh, I mean, because the mystery is why, how could Lake George, which is so beautiful, have such a history of not real violence, and then in the end, ugliness in right. a way. But, right. um, the, the, it was my reaction to, and so a lot of those words like swagachi, mm -hmm. things like that, their place names spelled weirdly. It was just like um, the violence in the landscape 
came alive right. in the tiny little library in this uh, not new historicist version, right. a local uh, version with the old spelling. And it's almost as if in one of those passages you're trying to teach yourself to see plainly, to see, to see only the track of rabbit. Of rabbit. But, I, but somehow, through words, um, the landscape enters through words. Right. I mean, literally, words have the power to uh, represent what was once, what, what is gone now in the landscape, but right. was there somehow. I can't... The per uh, well, you know, you did it.